all the sea levels in the Maldives in the 22nd century. That's the real pressing matter. There's a reason why they're wasting your time with that rubbish. Uh, by the way, if Rishi Rich really signs on to those climate reparations, broke Britain will be paying money to the new empire, the one that supplanted us, China. No idea what they'll use it for, maybe to improve security protocols at the Wuhan Institute of Bioweapons, maybe to buy up a couple more Commonwealth islands. They're collecting the set. But it does make you wonder who benefits from climate hysteria. Do you know Nicolas Maduro? He's the strongman of Venezuela. The United States doesn't recognize him as president of that country. In fact, the U.S. Department of Justice announced a $15 million bounty for information leading to his capture. Look at this. Now, 15 mil is not to be sneezed at, so at Sharm El shakedown today, Joe Biden's special envoy, John Kerry, could have taken Maduro down, uh, knocked him unconscious, there they are, could have dragged him into the wings and collected that 15 million all for himself. But because Mr. Maduro agrees with John Kerry on the imminent climate apocalypse, they instead did the old big climate buddy routine. What's going on here? Alexandra Marshall edits the Aussie end of The Spectator and joins us now. For, for the young folks, Alexandra, the, the whole climate apocalypse thing may be uh, something to do with ideological purity and utopianism, but there's a lot of hard-headed power politics uh, going on, particularly where China's concerned. Well, first of all, I'm pleased to find out that I'm your favourite Australian because I can hear your little introductions beforehand, so that's good to know. <laughs> uh, but for the young people, a lot of it's just a competition for attention. It's like what they do on TikTok. If they're virtuous, then, you know, they get they get credit at school and all sorts of things. So we can ignore the kids. It's a mixture of brainwashing and attention-seeking. But as far as the real politics goes, gee, I'm glad that COP has finally thrown off any delusions it had of just being a virtue signaling conference and now we can see that it is basically an extortion racket for the third world so we've got our climate minister over there right now and the whole thing is to pay the pacific islands who might have built their nations on sinking coral atoll, atolls which is of course no one's fault but their own and they want us to pay hundreds mm. of millions of dollars to them now my question to our prime minister which no other journalist will ask anybody in power is why are the pacific islands if they are so angry about so-called climate change and you know the water's rising why do they do deals with china to sell and mine their fossil fuels and renewables assets could it perhaps have anything to do with selling that back to the west for a profit and then upping the value of their mining resources which australia then buys i mean this is really just right. a money making thing yeah, no, and, and it certainly is for China. I mean, the, 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 all China's going to do with any money it gets from climate reparations is make the Yangtze River an even more disgusting and weird uh, colour. I mean, this is, this is what's crazy about this climate reparations business, Alexandra. I mean, do you really think that Western self-flagellation can be taken to apologising for the Industrial Revolution and paying money for having uh, gotten there first. Well, do you remember how in COVID we had this whole COVID safe marketing campaign where companies were saying, buy from us because we're COVID safe? Well, they've got the same thing going on with climate where you've got companies like Ben and Jerry's circling around the edge of this climate hysteria. I don't know if you've seen their Twitter account <laughs> right now, but they've got this whole, you yeah. know, islands thing holding a big sign saying the seas are rising and so are we and you have to give money yeah. to the pacific islands but you know but also buy ice cream from us when you're while you're doing that is basically their message yeah. so that's what we've got happening around the corporate thing and china's sitting there basically using all this climate money to build military bases on the edge of australia and mining all the pacific islands while they're at it and enslaving the governments there and it is just the it's the most idiotic thing and our idiotic paternalism we think oh yes those poor pacific islands meanwhile they're scamming yes. us blind i mean we must be the stupidest people ever to live 
No, no, that's that's complete. And Ben and Jerry's, I don't even get it because they make their ice cream, which I've never really liked. It's got too many chunks in it. But Ben and Jerry's make their lousy ice cream from Vermont cows, who are some of the most flatulent emission producing creatures on the planet. So I, I can't even stand them. Nobody takes it. They don't take uh, they don't take the climate apocalypse seriously when it comes to the bovine flatulence of their company, uh, nobody does uh, accept governments when it comes to things like giving a trillion dollars in reparations. No, look, the Ben and Jerry's have tried racism. Now they're on to climate change. And I believe they're serious when they switch out their cow milk for something like, I don't know, crushed crickets or something. Then maybe we can go, yeah, you might yeah. be serious about that. Mm. But for everybody else, our governments and prime ministers are giving away billions of dollars while we are in a financial crisis. It is such mm. an insult to the hardworking people of everybody's countries to just watch their money walking out the door in this criminal scandal. Yeah, no, that's that's absolutely right. And the crazy, it's only whatever it is, the fourth, third, fourth day of COP, and it's getting nuttier by the day. Thank you very much, uh, Alexandra. We're going to check in and see if it's even crazier next time we talk, which it undoubtedly will be.